We are in beautiful Woodstock, New York. We're working at Woodstock Farm Animal Sanctuary. We are here today to work on a variety of different tasks that they need. WFAS, or Woodstock Farm Animal Sanctuary's mission is to rescue and rehabilitate farmed animals, those destined for the table, and also at the same time to advocate on their behalf and educate the public about the cruelties and horrors of factory farming. It's great to have this group from Appalachian State University um, here helping us um, because we're in the lead up to our visitor season which starts on the 1st of April. Everything from painting to fence building to cleaning barns, working with the animals, we're doing so many awesome things here today. It's been a phenomenal experience. They're a, a force to be reckoned with and they keep smiling. <laughs> We are in the Bronx, New York, and we are working with an organization called Part of the Solution, and it is a soup kitchen, and it also provides um, services such as haircuts, and tax services, and law services, and free showers to people in the Bronx area who can't afford it or just need a place to come and talk to someone, um, a place that really builds community among the locals, and also a place that has really had a huge impact on this community. The Bronx is actually the fifth poorest zip code in the country and here, seeing that on a piece of paper is completely different than experiencing it in person. I think statistics have tendencies to place stereotypes on cultures and communities and really immersing yourself in the experience of service winning can help you break them stereotypes and also create the social change that we all want to see happen. So this week we're really trying to immerse ourselves in the culture, talk to different people every day, learn their stories, um, bounce our experiences off of their experiences and see how we can work together to build social change and get everyone on an equal playing field. We know it's not going to happen this week, but we know that this week can definitely have a huge impact for the future. This week we're at Cape Romaine Wildlife Refuge where we are helping them set up for the loggerhead sea turtles coming and we're helping them clear paths so visitors can come and visit this awesome place. I took a math biology course last year where we um, learned about endangered species and how mathematical modeling of the biological systems can, you can increase the populations and we did it on loggerhead sea turtles which is actually right here in Cape Romaine. But now I actually get to come here and I get to see their habitat and I get to really put the pieces together that not only is it something that you can learn in the classroom, that it's something that's real right before your eyes, that these turtles are dying due to um, shipping companies and shrimping nets and that a lot really needs to be done to preserve them and it's more than what can just be taught in the classroom. I am standing in pretty much the middle of 180 Degree Farm, which is in Sharpsburg, Georgia, about an hour south of Atlanta. 180 Degree Farm is a nonprofit organization that's interested in providing healthy, real food to their community. We have gotten to move some of their sheep, we collect eggs, we have planted potatoes. We're really learning the practical implication of a lot of the activities we're doing, um, everything ranging from composting to 
integrated field management. Um, we get to have more hands-on experience. We get to see the process from start to finish. Whereas in the classroom, a lot of times we're focused on one individual part of the farming experience, whereas this is a more holistic experience. But in general, alternative spring break is just a great way for students to get out and experience something different and not do something that every college student does. But going actually somewhere and making a difference in the lives of someone that you can actually see, be it animals, children, elderly people, it's an amazing feeling. It really does empower you. I'm not the outdoorsy type at all, so this is taking me totally out of my element, but I got really excited to see the rest of my group mates just hopping right in the water and getting onto the land, and they were all really excited about doing service, so I was like, okay, I just gotta jump in and do it. You can really learn so much about not only yourself, but more importantly, how your actions affect everyone on the community. It's really an amazing opportunity that I think everyone should be involved in.